nuclear weapons. What are they good for? Well, a new agreement between America's leading nuclear arms agency and NASA says that nukes could be Earth's best chance at surviving a head-on collision with a large comet or asteroid. RT correspondent Manuel Rapolo has the doomsday details. Planet Earth is the target of anywhere between 18 and 84,000 meteorite impacts every year. Most of the time, these impacts by near-Earth objects are too small to even notice, and many meteorites just burn up in the Earth's atmosphere before they even hit the ground. But every now and then, a meaningful impact catches our attention enough to make us worry about the possibility of a large enough event that could cause major damage. In 2013, a gigantic meteorite exploded in midair over Chelyabinsk, Russia. Well, technically, it was a meteoroid weighing somewhere around 7,000 tons and measuring 60 feet across. And while the dash cam videos of the massive fireball exploding in the sky nearly broke the Internet, make no mistake about it, it was a significant event, injuring 1,500 people and causing widespread damage. The force of the blast was brighter than the sun and had a blast equivalent to 400,000 tons of dynamite. So, what recourse would Earthlings have in the event of an object threatening all life on our planet? Well, Hollywood has made a few pretty bold suggestions on this hypothetical but very real scenario. And it's one that the world's top scientists generally agree on. Nuke them. Yeah, believe it or not, in the event of a massive asteroid or comet heading directly for us, nuclear weapons may be our best shot at survival. In fact, NASA just signed a deal with the National Nuclear Security Administration for a cooperative program of planetary defense. Here's an idea of how it would work. A massive rock heading toward Earth is intercepted by a barrage of rockets carrying the most powerful bombs human beings have ever created. They blow the rock to smithereens, saving all humanity in the process. But this isn't the first time scientists have considered the nuclear option. In 2004, plans for a so-called nuclear bullet were published by NASA, featuring a single projectile 75 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Scientists believe that it would take an asteroid or comet no bigger than 0.6 miles across to devastate our planet, and around 1,000 space rocks that fit that description have already been found to cross Earth's path in the solar system from time to time. Manuel Rapolo, RT Studios, Washington.